this is so small i think this would probably be one of the best wireless microphone for youtube video with pretty good audio quality i'm shooting this video with just iphone 11 pro and this little bluetooth connected mic and i can set it up fairly quickly to start any recording and this little bike called smart mic plus from a company called Sabinian Tech. And today I'm going to do a review on this little guy. I will share with you my experience after using this Smart Mic Plus for a while. And I'm going to give you some comparison audio between indoor and outdoor scenario. Also a comparison audio between built-in microphone from Sony A7 III versus a smart mic plus when you shoot a talking head video like this you guys can do a comparison and listen for yourself among this audio quality the video rundown will be the outlook of the mic sound comparison how to export and use the apps and i'll put a timestamp on this video so that you guys can jump straight into that section in case you want to re-watch this video so I do some research around Smart Mic Plus and I noticed that one of the questions that many people are asking around is whether one Smart Mic Plus is good enough if they want to conduct Facebook Live, Instagram Live or even plug it into DSLR as a mic receiver. So the answer is no. You need two Smart Mic Plus which one of it will act as a transmitter, the other one will act as a receiver. Both of them actually connect wirelessly. And I'll have another video talking about that setup and more tips of using Smart Mic Plus. So make sure you check that out when the video is available. So for now, if you only have one Smart Mic Plus, there's still work around where you can record audio from the Smart Mic Plus apps and the video feed from DSLR. I'll start with the outlook of the mic. Firstly, as you can see, it is really small and lightweight. And the idea is to enable you to clip the mic onto your shirts, where it brings the mic very close to you without having wire that may mess around. It is very important for those who are recording the video for something like cooking tutorial, yoga, fitness, or outdoor activities, where less wire is always the best idea. It comes with an earphone for sound monitoring, a dead cat or a windshield, Pro Bundles actually comes with a unidirectional mic for enhanced voice picking up. The receiver of the mic actually is at the top of the mic. And the mic input or the earphone jack is actually at the top as well. This little red button actually is for power on and off. Also for Bluetooth connectivity as well as you can press for start and stop recording. The charging port is at the bottom. One thing that I don't like is the dead can is actually quite hard to put on to the microphone. So once you put on, basically it blocks the red button partially, so it makes it harder to find the red button and to push the red button. And it also blocks the microphone jack. So next, let's jump into some sound comparison. Hello everyone, I'm currently shooting this video with just an iPhone and Smart Mic Plus from a company called Sabinet Tech. The mic is Bluetooth connected, so there is no wire and really keep my setup simple and less messy. As you can see, I'm currently walking on the street. So you should be probably hearing my voice is enhanced. And the noise reduction feature really helps to reduce and filter away all the noises, especially from the traffic around me. So mic testing, one, two, three. Sound testing, one, two, three. So I will let you hear how does it sound like without the mic. Hi guys, currently you are seeing this recording without Smart Mic Plus connected. The audio is coming directly from iPhone and without the noise reduction feature, probably you should be hearing all the noises from the 
environment around me, especially the buses and the cars. And my voice should be slightly distant as you can hear now. Sound testing one, two, three. Sound testing one, two, three. Coming back to the studio. I'm going to share with you the comparison audio between Sony A7 III built-in microphone versus the audio recorded from SmartMic Plus. And you are now currently listening to the audio from Sony A7 III built-in microphone. I'm sitting around 5 feet away from the camera. Sound testing 1, 2, 3. Sound testing 1, 2, 3. We're now listening to the audio from SmartMic Plus recorded through the apps. I'm sitting around 5 feet away from the camera. Sound testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Sound testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it soft? Is it clear? So leave a comment down below. How do you like the sound from SmartMic Plus? Once you connect SmartMic Plus to your phone, you can go into your apps and you will see this little green mic is being turned on. It shows that your mic is well connected. In the audio parameter setting, you can choose everything goes to auto or the pro mode where some adjustment can be done on the parameter setting. Since we have the mic being connected, the mic toggle is turned on and if you have unidirectional mic like this, your external mic toggle will be turned on as well. For gain, I will suggest you test it out and adjust the gain not to hit the picking. I found that the auto gain control doesn't work too well for me because it tends to boost my voice too much and it might hit the picking. So I will turn it off and adjust the gain based on my conditions. If I found that my voice is too soft, I'm still able to adjust the gain in the post. And you can monitor the gain on the left and the right of the screen. Noise reduction is the key feature of SmartMic Plus. It has three levels of noise reduction. I'm using level 1 or no noise reductions. As I'm shooting indoor, I might probably have the air conditioner noise only. Once everything set up, you are good to go. If you are using the apps to shoot the video, first click on the camera icon to choose your camera view. White, tele and zoom is using the back facing camera which I recommend you to use as we know the resolution will be far better. Selfie mode is using the front facing camera. At the bottom, you can choose the aspect ratio that you want your video to shoot at. You can choose between 16x9, 4x3 or 1x1 square. In the filter tab, you can add filter directly to your video. In the camera setting tab, basically you can set the resolution, which I'm using 4K here. Video frame rate, I'm using 30 frames per second. Video bit rate, I'm using medium. Because at 4K, high video bit rate, the file size is about 900 megabyte per minute, which will burden my phone. You can choose to add beauty level, anti-shape, the file format that you want, and turning on and off the grid lines. To export your video or audio recording, all your files are actually listed here. You can directly share your video to Facebook or Instagram. And if you want to export your video or audio for editing, it is quite simple. You just need to click on the cloud button on the top right and go to your PC browser and enter the URL that's showing up on the screen. From there, you can choose which file that you want to download and edit. However, just to make sure that your phone is connected to the same network that your PC is actually connected to. The workaround that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you only have one SmartMic Plus and you want to use the audio from SmartMic Plus and video from DSLR, in my case Sony A7 III. What I did was, when I do the video shooting, I record audio from both Sony A7 III and SmartMic Plus apps and I export both audio and do an audio sync in the post-editing software. At the point of shooting this review, the price of SmartMic Plus for single package is selling at $139, single pro bundle selling at $159, twin package selling at $278, twin pro bundle selling at $318. I'll put the link down below if you want to check it out. I think if you sign up the newsletter, you'll be getting extra 10% off the price. To sum up, I think this mic is very versatile. I'm not paid to do this video, frankly speaking, this mic is not the cheapest, but particularly useful for those who do vlog, fitness, outdoor activities, interviews, where you need a clean setup without the hassle of wire.
This mic is definitely suitable for you. However, if you are looking for a budget mic, you would want to consider wire mic. There's a lot of budget mic out in the market. But I would still recommend you to invest in this mic looking at the potential and many possible ways of using this mic. I would recommend you to start it off with twin package to make sure that your investment is work out the best. That's all for my review. I hope you found this video helpful and if you do, please hit the likes button and do smash the subscribe button for upcoming video. And I'll see you in the next video.